Hello everybody! We are taking another weekend trip. This time we are going to Delray Beach, which is more or less halfway between Fort Lauderdale and Palm Beach. Miami traffic? Hmm, not so bad at this time, around noon on a Friday. However, there's always that little bit of a backup before the infamous I-95 exit. This weekend it is our intention to try Harvest Hosts, which is a service that lists uh, farms, uh, wineries and other attractions that let you boondock overnight at their lot. And it is uh, you know, encouraged that you buy something from your host. And uh, here we are at Bedner's Farm, which has a great market. But to be honest about it, our accommodations don't look so attractive and we've learned that they lock the gate after hours, so we won't be able to go in and out at will. So we've decided to make a last minute change of plans. We'll be back another time, perhaps. But we've actually decided to stay at Del Raton RV Park, which is a family owned and operated, very nice folks. It is, however, $43 per night. Not so cheap, but very well located, just a few minutes away from the beach in downtown Delray. This guy, one of the owners, really, really knows how to guide you backing up the trailer. I'm riding, 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 riding with my RV, my RV, wherever I Cause I'm free in my RV yeah. Hello everybody, we are here at the El Raton RV park and uh, I think I got something to eat We're hungry The lady at the RV park recommended this place called Grand Tavern which is really close, but the GPS person has taken us through all these back streets and we're behind this slow driving person uh, with all these stop signs and traffic circles. And, well, enough complaining. We're here and we're hungry. They claim to be a Michigan sports bar. We have our customary IPA while we wait for the food. We get the beef and chicken fajita and something called sizzling steak bites, which we realize it is also just like a fajita. Oh well. Well, the place was pretty good. Uh, good fajitas and the other stuff we ordered that didn't sound like a fajita but was also like a fajita. Uh, we're gonna go to downtown Del Rey now, see what's going on. This is Atlantic Avenue, the main street here. The pretty yellow building is the Colony Hotel, dating back to 1926. How about a macaroon for dessert? This is, of course, a franchise, but this particular store seems to be run by a Frenchman, so it makes it somehow feel more authentic. Let's go for the Halloween special, vanilla. Very pleasant to walk along Atlantic Avenue with all this street art, calling the wall self-service restaurants, as well as mm, more upscale offerings, of course. We are just going to walk around the area a little bit. We are obviously not all that hungry yet after our late lunch. Look, it's a road trek. So cool. It's a road trek. How about a trip to Cuba? We hop on the car once again. Let's check out the beach, which is just over the drawbridge.
must be pretty good fishing here. I think I saw a sign that said fishing was prohibited, but mm, there are very few people swimming because it is early November and the water is already pretty cold, you know, by South Florida standards. Check out the birds flying in formation. It is such a beautiful afternoon. The temperature is probably in the mid-70s Fahrenheit today. Yeah, very, very pleasant. Okay, let's continue. We're going back to the RV park. have come down to the beach at the crack of dawn to witness the sunrise. Can you hear the train? Yeah, it woke us up a couple of times last night. And this guy is fishing again. Well, maybe it's a different guy, but you really have to like fishing because that water must be really cold this early in the morning. Beautiful light. Okay, let's continue. We are going to cruise around the downtown area a little bit and then it is our intention to visit the Wakodahachi wetlands which is part of the Palm Beach County water utilities and they have some boardwalks over the water where supposedly you can see lots of wildlife. It is actually supposed to be right here to the right, but I see some orange cones blocking the entrance. Is it possible that it is closed? It says closed October 24th to November 5th. The website didn't say anything about that, but well, the website didn't really say much at all. Mmm, breakfast. We're making some beans and uh, mm, frittata. Smells delicious. Oh, hello everybody. We're having here a little bit of a rain delay uh, because, um, as you can see, there's very dark clouds coming from, coming from the northeast and uh, it's been sprinkling and it, it looks like it's going to rain a little harder. So we're going to wait here a little bit at the RV park. And by the way, uh, uh, Palm Beach County, a little suggestion. If you're going to close one of your main tourist attractions here, uh, it would be nice if you put like a you know, conspicuous sign on your website saying that it's going to be closed for two weeks. Just saying, we're gonna try to go back tomorrow. 
And uh, when it stops raining, I think we're gonna go to the Morikami Japanese Garden and Museum. Seems to be another awesome place here uh, in this uh, Delray Beach, Boca Raton area. What can we do but watch some YouTube while we wait for the rain to stop? Okay, if we time it right, I think we're going to have like a two hour window here with no rain. So let's go to the Morikami Gardens. And here we are, right on cue, it has stopped raining. It's a miracle. And the sun even wants to come out. Let's walk to the main entrance. We have learned that the Yamato Island, where they have the bonsai collection, is closed for renovations. And but I guess we can see the rest of the park. And this bird has been walking with us since we arrived. Are you our guide? He <laughs> keeps following us. What is this you're showing us? Oh, Rajian. It means Garden of the Drops of Dew. This ring is actually a wisdom ring. A replica of a 500-year-old stone lantern. A symbol of Miyazu Kyoto. Delray Beach is a sister city. And it looks like our friendly bird caught a lizard. <laughs> we continue onto the James and Hazel Gates Woodruff Memorial Bridge. The bridge marks the entrance to the actual Japanese garden and it symbolizes the link between Japan and Florida offered by this park. What is that in the middle of the lake? It's a friendly alligator coming. There are some turtles here and the gator is coming. You know what would be really funny? If the gator ate the bird that ate the lizard, it would like complete the circle of life, don't you think? And I guess turtles are not very tasty. Lucky for them. Okay, let's continue. Let's see if our bird wants to come with us. Here's the Shinden Garden. From the 9th to 12th centuries, when they adopted the Chinese design ideals that emphasized informality and appreciation of nature. Flor de papel. And it looks like our bird got another lizard. Hmm, it's pretty good. It's a lizard. He's trying to kill it. It must take a lot of skill to turn the lizard around using just your beak and then swallow it whole while it's still alive. Hmm. Good job, buddy. He's following us again. Hello, baby. Yep, I bet the lizard is still alive inside his neck. Private romantic bench. It's nature at its best. Bamboo forest. In the bamboo grove, we are encouraged to listen to the sound that the bamboo trees make in the breeze. Paradise Garden. Mm -hmm. The 
Paradise Garden is meant to represent the pure land or the Buddhist heaven. Uh, well, it is certainly spider heaven, if you ask me. the rock garden, inspired by Chinese landscape, and then there's the late rock garden with the flat rake gravel, what we usually call a zen garden. It is all very, very pretty. Here we're going back through the early rock garden into the Hiraniwa flat garden, and then the modern romantic garden. Check out the butterfly. Yes, very, very romantic indeed, with all these spiders. <laughs> After crossing this small bridge, we encounter the Morikami Memorial. And here's the Yamato Island, which is unfortunately closed for our safety. That was probably going to be the most interesting part of our visit here, but at least we got to see the Buddha. Well, for good luck. It is a very beautiful, relaxing, dare I say, zen place. Even though, to be honest, our expectations were unreasonably high when we came. And then we have all these cloudy skies. Somebody left her shoes. That seems to be the island that we couldn't see. Hmm. And that over there is the bridge where we started. And more spiders. I guess I don't have to reiterate that if you have arachnophobia, perhaps this is not the place for you. Can you hear the water? Well, we have arrived at the Morikami Falls, the last point of interest here in our journey around the lake. Is this safe? They have a bunch of events throughout the year here, including a lantern festival that is supposed to be fantastic. Maybe we'll come for that one day. It is sprinkling. They didn't allow uh, photography or video inside the museum, but I'll tell you about it. It's a bunch of um, origami art, very nice, very pretty. Um, this was $15 per person. Uh, it was nice. It's a shame that the day is uh, turning into a rainy day. Hopefully the sun will come out soon. We'll continue exploring uh, Boca Raton and Del Rey Beach. Turn right on the southwest, 167 place for Tommy Park Road. Right on cue, it starts pouring down as soon as we leave the Morikami Gardens. Turn left on the John Road.
Our next stop is the Saltwater Brewery. They do have excellent craft beer and usually a food truck outside. Let's check it out. They do offer tours upon request, but we just want to have a taste today. And the menu is pretty extensive, and we're gonna go for the flight. My favorite, the Screaming Wheels IPA. Very good. We are here right next to the railroad tracks. We have some Chilean empanadas from the food truck, and off we go again. We roam around the streets of downtown a little bit. We were actually thinking of going to this bring your own booze place called Art Garage, but probably not. We were in the area a couple of years ago, and we are looking also for the place where we hung out back then. I think it's called The Office. Maybe we'll find it. Once again, we go over the Atlantic Avenue bridge onto the beach. We decided to go for a walk on the other bridge, the one close to the RV park on Linton Boulevard. And this is the Intercoastal Waterway. Very picturesque. It must really suck to live in one of these mansions by the bridge with no privacy whatsoever. Such a tough life. Modest uh, residence. We continue walking here on Ocean Boulevard, also known as A1A, which in this area it is mostly private beachfront properties, except for here, the Atlantic Dunes Park. Yes, beach access. It is uh, very, very windy. And the sea is kind of rough. It almost looks the way Miami Beach looked during Hurricane Matthew. Not quite as bad. We go back to the RV to get the bathing suit because I am getting the itch to go to the beach. Especially now that the sun has come out. We're back. There's a guy getting ready to do some kite surfing. I would love to learn how to do that and take a look those waves. Should I even attempt to go into the water? Well, he looks like he knows what he's doing for sure. Well, nothing has ever been written about cowards, so I'm just going to do it. I'm going to go in. Wish me luck. Whoa, that's cold. Some of these waves actually knock you off your feet, but it is such an exhilarating experience. My biggest concern is actually the rip currents. They are so strong, it is very, very hard uh, to keep your balance. I do manage okay, by the way and uh, this is uh, definitely the highlight of the whole trip for me. And the kite surfing guy, well, he's keeping at it. Back at the RV park we are, as the day comes to an end. And we get ready to go to downtown for dinner. 
We take an Uber, a very nice but super cranky Romanian guy who said all the restaurants in the area are tourist traps. He didn't really like any of them, so so much for a local's recommendation. Man, downtown Delray Beach is really happening. We end up, oddly enough, at the sidewalk bar of a Cuban restaurant of all possible places, uh, sipping mojitos and uh, eating some stuffed uh, tostones and creole shrimp. Mmm, very nice. And of course, Cuban coffee. It is called Cabana El Rey, and it's uh, not really only Cuban. They call their style Nuevo Latino. And they also have like Spanish paellas and dishes from Peru, Argentina. You know, it is like a Latin fusion of flavors. Very tasty. We continue walking around and there's great ambience everywhere. Where's the train? There. Well, that train is going awfully fast through downtown, I think. Imagine if her hair got on fire. <laughs> Seems kind of dangerous. As we reach Ocean Boulevard, A1A, we request a ride and call it a night. Race against the clock. To see the sunrise. We are going to have some breakfast here at another Broken Egg Cafe. Crab Cakes Cavallo, anyone? And with that, we're gonna say goodbye to Delray Beach. We had a great time here. Yeah, I don't really want to go, but we must. Let me put the GoPro on the roof so I can show you the ride home. south. Never fun to drive towing the trailer. And today is not too bad actually. Very light traffic on a Sunday morning, although it will get progressively worse as we approach Miami, no doubt. 
check out downtown to the left. Oh, okay, let me show you a fine example of Miami driving. Keep an eye on that black SUV to the left and remember, objects on the GoPro wide-angle lens are much closer than they appear. Yep, that just happened. He was all the way on the left lane and he just cut in front of me. <laughs> At least he or she was nice enough to use the blinker. People don't usually do that around here. I'm not gonna get all cranky like other YouTubers out there because this is really everyday driving for us. Like Dustin Hoffman said in Wag the Dog, this is nothing. I guess that's why I find it so easy to drive pretty much anywhere else in the USA. Welcome to Miami. Well, that's all folks, uh, do remember to subscribe if you haven't, and if you liked it, uh, well, give me a thumbs up and share with your friends and comment below. I am also on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and even Snapchat, so follow me there too if you will. I am now Traveling Robert in all of the social networks, and you can also visit the blog at TravelingRobert.com, join the mailing list. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road. I'm riding. Riding with my RV Wherever I want to be Cause I'm free in my RV